We know our friends in times of adversity, Mele says in long, emotional note. Dino Mele, the lawmaker representing Kogi West Senatorial District at the National Assembly, has penned a lengthy emotional note to thank those who have stood by him in his moment of adversity. Malay is being prosecuted by the police at a court in Kogi State for alleged gun running and at another one in Abuja for attempted suicide. After spending some weeks in detention, he was granted bail last week in the sum of N10 million and a surety. Writing on Facebook on Monday evening, he claimed he was being subjected to an endless barrage of physical, psychological, metaphysical and emotional torture and assault because he called injustice by its name and called for accountability. However, he thanked his loyal supporters, saying he felt blessed to have courageous and dependable people like you as my fellow soldiers in the struggle. Someone once said that rock bottom is good solid ground and a dead end street is just a place to turn around. In the last few weeks, I have been taken to the good solid ground at the rock bottom and they couldn't go further. I have been brought to the dead end street, but with you standing by my side, I have turned around and bounced back to the chagrin of those who sought to seal my lips from speaking out against tyranny, politics of oppression and blackmail. They unleashed an endless barrage of physical, psychological, metaphysical and emotional torture and assault on me, but through the power of the Most High and you, the good people of Nigeria, we have once again seen the triumph of truth over lies and good over evil. It was Edmund Burke who was quoted as saying that when bad men combine, the good must associate, else they will fall one by one and in a contemptible struggle. I am, of all men, a blessed man, to have courageous and dependable people like you as my fellow soldiers in a struggle to free us from the shackles of political strongholds and tyranny. The state unleashed its raw power on me and released a 200-man strong fully armed policeman on a man without a knife or a bullet. It did this because I called injustice by its name and called for accountability. For this, they sought to break my spirit and destroy me permanently. In their moment of rain, I was fully shackled. With my hands tied to my back and hurled into a dark solitary confinement waiting for the butcher's knife, you, my people, stood by me. You came against a raging fire and stood up against tyranny, lies, filthy lucar, injustice, persecution and greed. While in the dark and unable to fight for myself, they sought to take my mandate, which you had freely given to me, but you answer back and quench deceit in its wake. You stood resolute and unflinching and defended your mandate to me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. In their attempt to break me, they have made me stronger. You have strengthened my resolve and hardened my flesh against those who seek to devour and make meat of me. You have once again proved to me the axiom and the saying that in prosperity, our friends know us, in adversity, we know our friends. I am very grateful. For your sake, I remain in boat. I know many of you worry about my safety and life in this new dispensation where life is no longer sacred in Nigeria, but do not be troubled. My bond of love for you, my good people, makes it impossible for me to consider myself risk, safety, comfort or opportunity in my unflinching commitment to stand up for you, to stand up for truth and if necessary, die for the truth and the emancipation of our people from the chains of poverty and oppression. Though they raise spurious allegations against me, bear false witness against me, though they seek to frighten me and lure me into their bounty of evil, I will fear no foe. Yes, 
My traducers and torturers wish that I keep quiet, though they seek to seal my lips, to silence my voice forever, I remain ever more resolute and committed. I am committed to this cause for which I am a politician, the cause of the downtrodden, to speak truth to power and stand against oppression and injustice. On these issues, there will be no compromise. I owe no apologies and I tender none. Like I have always said, you speak the truth, you die, you don't speak the truth, you die. I have chosen to speak the truth, dead or alive. Rev. Martin Luther King Jr. Once said, cowardice asks the question, is it safe? Expediency asks the question, is it politics? Vanity asks the question, is it popular? But conscience asks the question, is it right? And there comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe nor political nor popular, but one must take it because it is right. My people, I promise you this and this only. I have taken my position, I will not hold back, I will not hold my peace, I will not be shut down, neither will I shut up, not as long as injustice and falsehood continues to reign. As long as I will live, I will not bow to bow.